Welcome back to Comics Rediscovered. Since I've decided to turn this room into my home office slash collecting room, I've been looking for a way to display some of my ungraded comics in a nice way. Not everything that I'm collecting right now needs to be graded or should be graded, but I still want to have a way to nicely display it. I found these crafty comics flex displays on Instagram, and when they were having a sale on them, I decided to jump in on it. So today we're going to take a closer look at the crafty comics flex displays. <laughs> Before we get into it, don't forget subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the comic goodness. So here they are, the Crafty Comics Flex Displays. As you can see, these are not the usual cheap plastic displays that look good from a distance but wouldn't stand up on a wall next to a framed piece of art. I tried those frames, or at least I tried to. You can check that video up here. First off, I ordered a pack of three of these. Uh, two of them are the normal display, and they also offer a display with a UV coating on the plexiglass. Crafty Comics offers a normal wood back and plexiglass frame. They also have the option with the UV coating to protect your comics from the harshness of sunlight. If you're displaying them in a room that gets a lot of light or has windows like this room, I highly recommend that you get one of the UV frames. So here's what you get with the Crafty Comics Flex Display. You get one of these little guidelines. This is for mounting. You get a couple of the screws, some extender pieces. You have a nice little uh, guide, how to. Thank you card. And then these are the matting colors. You get a few of these in, in the envelope here. All right, so this is the front plexiglass. As you can see, they cover it beforehand, so you have to peel that off. Keeps it nice and clean. This is the interior frame. And then you have the wood backing. So it's just smooth, and then this is the rough side that goes against the wall. I have to say, I was really impressed with how these look when the framing is completed. I wasn't sure what to expect, but the quality of the finished product speaks for itself. These turn your comics into the display works of art that they are. Compared with some of the other framing choices out there, I find these to be a step up if you're truly trying to present your comics in a grown-up and stylish manner. All of the cuts of wood and acrylic are on point, sharp edges and corners, clean lines. Even the matting has pre-cut holes that line up pretty perfectly with the peg inserts and the holes on the acrylic. Crafty does have multiple matting colors you can buy directly from them, but they also encourage you to design the backing of your comic frame to suit your tastes. I've included a link below to their blog post on their website for how to customize your frame. I've tried to match some of their supplied colors with a few comics to record this video and test them out. The blue on this Moon Knight frame looks like they're meant to be together. And my Alex Ross Silver Surfer Timeless cover looks spot on. I'll throw up a separate video later detailing the process of actually putting the frame together and mounting the comic, but needless to say, it's pretty easy and without frustration. They mount easily and can be done in landscape or portrait, and the only problem that I had mounting these were my own crooked eye, and I can't really fault Crafty Comics for that. Once on the wall, these look pretty fantastic. If you put a frame print or original art next to these on the wall, they wouldn't be out of place. They sit flush with no sign of drag or cramping on the comic. It actually sits quite flush with the interior framing holding it snugly in place. And for larger square bound comics or thick issues, Crafty Comics also includes extender pieces, so they should work for those thicker comics as well. I really like that these are so simple to put together and it isn't permanent. So if I decide the Silver Surfer isn't what I want to see and instead I want the new Walking Dead Deluxe in the frame, it's easy enough to pull the frame down, lay the new comic in place, and in less than five minutes, I could be displaying an all new set of comics and keep my room and display looking fresh. There's no noticeable difference between the normal frame and the UV protected frame. The UV protected acrylic came with a different protective film, but other than that, I had to mark the back of the frame so later on, I would know which is which. There is no visible color difference of the acrylic, and overall I would say viewing through these frames is as clear as it could be. The last thing worth mentioning that impressed me even before I received my order was their customer support. I get the feeling that this is a small company, but that did not diminish the service that I got. Due to the disastrous state of the US Postal Service right now, we ran into some shipping problems. 
And the people over at Crafty Comics were responsive and apologetic. They were also very eager to work through the problem with me and get me the product as quickly as possible. They also have options for graded comics and slabs, as well as for Pop Funkos. They do offer two colors for the wood backing, either the natural light color from the locally sourced wood or a stained option. There is also bundle options for choosing multiple frames, combo packs, and inserts. My verdict on these frames is that I'm a fan and will be using these frames to build out my display collection. If you're interested in a stylish, modern way to display your books, I would highly recommend taking a look at Crafty Comics Flex Displays. The link is posted below. So there you have it. There's my review or closer look at the Crafty Comics Flex Displays. Leave a comment below. Let me know how do you normally display your comics and would you think of taking a look at these Crafty Comics displays after seeing them online. Check out their Instagram, leave a comment below, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.